So in this video, I want to show all of you how in DaVinci Resolve 17.4, you can add YouTube chapters to your video in the form of markers and then export your video with those markers to YouTube so that they're already set up for you when you are getting ready to publish your video, writing the description tags and all of that. So in order to create a marker in Resolve, you have these buttons over here in the timeline where it says markers. So you need to find the point in time when a new YouTube chapter should be created and then to create a marker and set the name of that chapter. So for instance, in a lot of my videos, I'll go to the start over here and I will add a marker and then I'll rename this marker by double clicking, changing name here to what to expect. That would be a very typical chapter name for my tutorial videos. So then you might progress through your video and find a good breakpoint for your next chapter. So I'll just pretend over here at about two minutes and six seconds here. Uh, you can enable snapping if you want it to be right on where you make a cut. We can click the marker button, add another marker in. I'm going to rename this and we will just call this chapter one. You can call the chapters whatever you want, by the way. So let's go ahead and click done and do this a few more times. So I'll go over here, add a chapter. We're going to just call it chapter two. And over here, we'll do chapter three. So select all the name text there and rename it chapter three. And then right at the end of the video, I'll create a chapter and I will just call this wrap up. So now we have these markers here. How do we export them with a YouTube video and uh, have it upload directly to YouTube so that these steps are created for us automatically? So if we go to the deliver tab where you generally export your videos, you want to switch over to the YouTube settings and there'll be a box here which says upload directly to YouTube. In order for this to work, you do have to have DaVinci Resolve authenticated with YouTube. So there might be a button down here to sign in to your YouTube account. Uh, but either way, once you do that, you can upload directly to YouTube. Another way that you can sign in is to go to the DaVinci Resolve menu and then choose Preferences. And then you'll find your internet accounts down here. So sign in to publish directly to YouTube. Looks like I need to go ahead and do that for myself. So you click Sign In and then you authenticate by logging in. Okay, so once you've done that, I've gone ahead and hit Save. We'll be able to actually upload directly to YouTube when we publish our video. So here, if you'd like, you can set a title for your video. I'll just call this test for right now. And the description I'll leave blank. We don't care about that. But what we do want is chapters from markers. So I'm going to click that. And you'll see you can select a color of marker, which is going to be the type you're using for your chapters. By default, this is blue, but you may have selected a different color. So make sure you use the one that matches uh, your markers for the chapters. And visibility, I recommend you set this to private by default. Um, when you actually go into your YouTube interface, you can add things like tags or monetization, whatever you need for your video. Obviously here where it's just uploading, you have very few options. So I would always edit later on on uh, the YouTube studio. But as long as we choose chapters from markers and we set visibility to private, I'm gonna go ahead and add this to the render queue and we will render our video. So when your video is done exporting, if you properly authenticated with YouTube, you should also see the upload progress bar go right here. And when this is done, we can go ahead and see the video on YouTube. So upload complete, that's what we wanna see. So now on YouTube, go to your YouTube studio page, find the content tab. And here we have our test video being uploaded. So if we click on the details edit button, we'll be able to see the chapters automatically added from DaVinci Resolve into our YouTube video. So with these timestamps and their associated titles, when someone watches our video, they're going to be able to easily use the sidebar in order to jump chapters. So before I would use markers and then have to manually type this out, but this is actually a really useful feature inside of DaVinci Resolve 17.4. So now when we watch our video on YouTube, you can see these different chapter markers. So if I click over here, we can see this is on chapter one. I can click here and expand the chapter selection menu. So this is really helpful for things like longer videos or tutorials. I find I always like to try to include them when I can, uh, especially for longer ones. So that's pretty much going to be it for this video. I've been Chris. Thanks for watching. And I hope this helps you out inside of DaVinci Resolve 17.4.